Hi everyone, this is Igor from Bakeo Training and today I'm going to talk how to handle app permissions pop-ups for Android applications in Appium. So imagine the situation you're working with the application Android and uh, uh, it throws asynchronous dialogues asking for permission uh, for uh, location. Uh, exactly the same permission you see on the screen at the moment in the real application. And the problem with this permission sometimes they're not handled uh, a similar way as other containers in the Android applications. Therefore, you have to have a special treatment for them. So a lot of people try to write conditional statements, which you can see highlighted on the screen in the moment, which is check for the presence of such permission. And then uh, by clicking on it, or I would say tapping in context of native application to handle that permission. Unfortunately, it doesn't work all the time. And a lot of tutorials and a lot of um, blogs actually showing the code, which I commented out on the screen for driver, which is the, uh, uh, in our case, Android driver, uh, switch to alert accept. It does not work, uh, especially in the context, as you can see on the screen. So what do you have to do if you get stuck in this situation? And the answer is very simple. You can handle all these permissions in one place. It called it call the capabilities. So if you go to the driver, which in, in my case are all uh, defined in the base test class, let me move in there. And where I'm defining all capabilities for device name, platform name, uh, package, activity, I add another capability, which I'm going to uncomment for the moment and highlight for you so you guys can see that. Here it is. It's called auto grant permissions, and you have to assign the Boolean value true which will grant permission to handle all system dialogues, including location dialogue in our case, which thrown synchronously. So once I'm done with this, if I run the test right now, I'm going to actually start a test at the moment. You will see that what's going to happen during test execution, that all these uh, permissions will be suppressed. Uh, and let's wait for a second until the test is going to start. And we're going to witness this all together. As you can see, application has started and performed the login and you don't even see the dialogue anymore because it was suppressed. And that's the solution that you want to go with to avoid uh, flakiness in your test. That's all I have for today. And if you have any questions, you can always go to bayqatraining.com and contact us at any time regarding our courses or any test automation inquiries. So long.